welcome to my channel. I'm Christina and I have a Halloween DIY for you today. I hope you like it, so stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ink chalk paint. Excuse my printer over there. I've been working on my printer for hours and yeah, I have ink all over my fingers and it's still being very problematic. So it's running through cycles and cleaning and stuff. I'm really hoping to get it working again. So I'm going to take my black chalk paint and I'm going to give this um, cutting board, this wood cutting board that I got from Dollar Tree, a coat of it, just the top and the sides. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm actually going to take these um, little cauldrons that I got from Dollar Tree. Ooh, ooh, that was a horrible noise. And this base from this cloche or cloche, I'm not exactly sure how you say it. And I'm just going to put a coat of the matte paint over that. I'm not getting too technical about it. I know I should, if you want it to stay, you know, it can scratch off and you should really use um, Mod Podge and stuff, but it's not a big deal if it scratches off because this is Halloween and yeah, everything's kind of, I guess, dirty and distressed on Halloween, but anyways. That is what I am going to do. Okay, now that I have that painted and I'm waiting, I'm going to take my skeletons here. I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to take my ink paint and just kind of hollow in the eyes because it's kind of like more of a gray right now. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the black paint in there. <gasps> so I got my printer going and I got my dog barking. Hi. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little black in the eyes so they stand out a little bit more. And then this doesn't even have black in the eyes, so I'm going to get some black in those eyes. Okay, now that I have this stuff um, painted, I am going to actually dirty these up a little bit because they just don't look, I guess, creepy enough for me. So I'm just going to take my brown paint and just kind of go over them and... Just like lightly, kind of like a dry brush, kind of dirty them up a little bit. And if it gets too dark in some spots, I'm just going to use a paper towel and clean it up a little bit. So if you can see the difference right there, definitely looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm also going to do these little skeleton heads too. And just get some brown on there. Dirty them up like that because they just look way too clean to me. So just a little bit of paint and kind of rub it in. Just like that. I have my skeletons all done and they look pretty good. I'm also gonna take some of this Java colored paint and go just on the outside of my pots here too with a little bit of the brown paint. So it's going to look just like that. I don't know why, just to give it a little bit of dimension, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my base here. And after that, um, I guess we'll see. Okay, so now that everything is painted, I am going to take some of this um, reindeer moss here. And that is going to go on my skeletons, just for a little added extra effect. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put these, put that right on my skeletons like that. Just randomly wherever I think it'll look good. Not stuck on my fingers preferably. Oh, so yeah, so I've had quite the couple of days. I had two days off, and of course yesterday was my first day off, being Thursday, and I felt sick to my stomach all day, so that was fun. Now my stomach feels a little bit better, but my neck and my back and my, my head are just killing me. So I'm trying to power through this DIY, feeling not so hot, but oh, 
bit and go on. So anyways, you get the gist of what I'm doing here. Sorry for bringing my personal stuff in. Oh, I swear. Yeah, so also then I was trying to use my printer and that wasn't working. So after tons of tutorials and looking stuff up, I finally got that printing halfway decent. After I got ink completely ingrained in my fingernails. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this moss on there. I'm gonna try to put some on these little guys too. Okay, so I'm working on these skeletons here and I think he's looking pretty good. I think these guys look pretty good too. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one done, which this one really kind of looks like an alien, don't you think? Anyways, I'm gonna get that one done and then I'm gonna start putting my project together. Okay, now comes a somewhat difficult part of this project, is putting it together. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take the bottom of my cloche here and I actually need to get rid of this piece right here. So I'm just gonna try this. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna try to drill it. I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe if I go from the side and just kind of drill through it. That is not working. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go this way through there and see if I can't get it. I need to get a piece of wood though. I end up drilling through my mat. did not work. You know what? It's okay. It broke. It's still going to be okay. So I have my battery pack here. I'm going to set that in the middle and I'm going to separate three lights on this side and three lights on that side and then the rest of the lights are going to go in the cloche here in the bottom of it. So those are going to come up through there. And these are going to come out the back, back here. So I should have three lights on each side. Okay, so now I'm going to stick my heads inside my cloche, which I did have all of these in here originally, but for some reason they don't seem to all want to fit. So I'm just going to see how I can get these in here. I think that's going to be it. Well, if I kind of push it. Yeah, I think it should work. We'll take this side because there's more heads going the right way. Okay, so actually I'm going to pull this out of here. And then this is going to get put on here, but I'm going to have to hot glue that on there so it stays. So I'm going to put that mess back there towards the back. This is going to be the front of my project. All right, so I'm going to have to get some hot glue and get this glued down. So while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I just wanted to mention that all this stuff um, came from Dollar Tree, including these lights here. They're green colored. They're just the regular lights. They're not... Um, fairy lights. So I am going to do my best here to get this glued down. Oh, maybe it's not. It's not quite hot enough yet. Okay, let's see if this is ready. I'm thinking that should be enough to hold it pretty good. Okay, then let's turn that off. Okay, so then I am going to stick 
my lights in there. I'm just going to turn this on quick. One, two, three. There should be four. I don't really want to see the lights, that's why I'm kind of putting them in the back. I just want that green glow in the back. Okay. So I'm just going to leave those like that and then I'm going to take uh, my two little cauldrons here and hopefully this goes a little bit better. I'm going to drill a hole in the back of my cauldron. And then I'm going to stick these lights on the inside of the cauldrons. Well, I cracked a little bit of the paint off in the back, but that should be okay. If I want, I could always go and touch it up, or I could just put some moss on it, too. Got kind of a tight fit right here. Okay, so those are going to go inside there, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I have my lights all in there. Now what I need to do is I need to hot glue my cauldrons to the board here. So they stay in place. Okay, those are all down. This is going to stay just like this, so I can change the batteries if I need to. That's why I just kind of set that on top like that. Okay, then this cauldron is just going to get a little bit of um, fiber fill stuffed in there, just like that. And then this little skeleton guy, I'm going to try to bend his arms up a little bit. He's going to get placed sitting right here. So I'll have to hot glue him up against the cauldron. Okay, and then this guy, he's going to go inside the cauldron, so I'm going to need to cut his legs off. So we're going to stick him in there like that. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that fiber fill. Well, actually, it's not even fiber fill. It's actually um, spider webs. So I'm going to kind of puff this up and it's going to get stuck around him. And I don't want to put too much in because I want to be able to see the lights underneath. Turn the lights off real quick here so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. All right, fiber fill just keeps falling in there. Probably because my skeleton guy is not sitting good. Get his legs straight. I got him in there where I wanted him, and now I just had to stick a little bit of hot glue on the pot here to get him to sit the way I want him to sit. So now maybe I can get that fiber fill in there.
Sorry, spider webs, not fiber fill. Okay, hopefully you'll still be able to see those lights shine through. This is sitting pretty decent, not bad. So yeah, you just kind of lift it up and then you can turn the lights on and off. But it's still looking a little plain to me. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Spanish moss and I'm just gonna hot glue some Spanish moss on here. So there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. I'm just putting some hot glue on and sticking it on there. All right, so I'm probably gonna go all the way around with the Spanish moss. Okay, it is just about done. Now I'm just gonna give it a little trim. A little bit around the edges here. Now I'm going to get my mess cleaned up. One last thing. Um, I have these little bat rings that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to stick that right here in the middle. Just because it's a little bare right there. It feels like it, it needs something. All right. It's finished. I'm trying to get it closer to the camera here. But remember this is loose so that I can change the battery. But I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, you can see the light's pretty decent when the light's... Um, are turned off. It's not, they're not like super bright, but you do get a green, green glow. All right, well, it is finished. It's all done. Um, I thought it turned out pretty cute. It was a labor of love. It was a pretty intensive project and took me quite a while to do it all the little pieces but I think it turned out pretty good so you will have to let me know what you think in the comment section that would be great and I would love it if you like this share it and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching have a great night bye